High pressure has been the main talking point so far this spring, really, and it's going to continue to be so as we go through the next 10 days. But there could be something of a blip as we go through this weekend, potential for something a bit wetter, maybe even a bit thundery, particularly towards the southwest. More on that in a second, but let's start off looking through the rest of this week. I'll rattle through it quite quickly because there isn't really a lot changing. High pressure sticking around for the time being, bringing a lot of dry, settled, often sunny weather. That being said, to the air around us, it's not especially warm, so we have had some chilly nights. We could see a few more chilly nights to come, perhaps a touch of frost in some prone rural spots, maybe a few pockets of mist and fog here and there, but on the whole, a generally fine picture. However, as that high pressure drifts away towards the east, we are going to see a couple of things. So uh, the wind direction where we're getting our air from, that changes, and so that's going to lead to a, a slight rise in our temperatures as we go into the weekend. And also with the high drifting away towards the east, we are going to see a front trying to push its way in from the northwest. If we look at Saturday then, and while that front's not expected to make a huge amount of progress, it may just fringe the far northwest of Scotland. But whilst there is some uncertainty, could push across other parts of the Outer Hebrides, maybe across uh, the far northwest of mainland Scotland, possibly Orkney and Shetland. I think generally it's likely to stay just to the northwest of us. That being said, a few showers are possible across parts of Scotland and maybe across parts of Northern Ireland too. I think the graphics behind me are a little pessimistic with those showers bringing a, a few too many, but some pokey showers are possible perhaps across both Scotland and Northern Ireland. Yes, otherwise, and actually across the bulk of England and Wales, a decent, dry, often sunny day. And in that sunshine, it's going to feel pretty warm. Temperatures peaking low, possibly mid-20s. Like I said, we, yes, we're going to see our temperatures rising a little bit as we go into the weekend, and that will perhaps be most notable across some eastern coastal parts where temperatures have been a little bit on the low side, bit of a chilly feel recently. I think it's going to feel markedly warmer than of late as we go into the weekend. But then as we go overnight and into Sunday, our attention turns to an area of low pressure that's pushing its way up from the north. Now, some question marks about this, how much progress it's going to make across the country. But let's start off looking at our Met Office model. And this has some fairly frequent showers feeding in, uh, particularly across parts of Cornwall. But we could see some of those showers feeding into Devon, maybe Somerset, Wiltshire, and across parts of South Wales as well as we go through the day. And it's worth bearing in mind, these could be heavy. There could be some thunder mixed in with them as well. Away from this, though, and apart from a few showers across Scotland again, it's actually looking largely fine for most places and temperatures even a few degrees higher so uh, compared to Saturday, so a greater chance of getting into the mid-20s. But as we go through later on Saturday, there's a reasonable chance that some showers across parts of France could push their way northwards. And so across parts of the south-southeast, we may see some perhaps even heavy showers feeding in as we go through later on. But this is just one model. If we compare a few now, and you can see there are some question marks still to play for. Uh, if we have the Met Office model on the left-hand side, EC, ECMWF, the European Center for Medium Range Weather Forecasting in the middle, and GFS, the American model on the right. And this is showing our 24-hour rainfall forecast for this Sunday. And what you can see, like I just showed you, the Met Office model really keeps the rain most likely just towards the southwest, perhaps just pushing into the far southwest of Wales. Meanwhile, the EC model has the rain much more widespread, still far north northeastern parts staying largely dry, but uh, the rain looks like it would be a bit heavier as well as uh, affecting more people. If this came off, we're looking worst case scenario totals on Sunday, maybe 30, 40 millimeters through the whole day, but a large chunk of that, maybe 15 to 20 millimeters, coming in just a couple of hours. And that's enough with that kind of intensity of rain to cause a few issues. So there could be a bit of localized surface flooding. And also we have to bear in mind with the potential of some thundery showers, some frequent lightning, perhaps even a bit of hail, so it could cause some problems. We don't have any warnings at the moment, the lead time's too long, but we may need to issue some nearer the time once confidence firms up a little bit. Another way of looking at Sunday's forecast when it comes to rainfall totals is if actually we compare recent Met Office model runs. On the left-hand side, I have the most recent run from 3Z on Wednesday morning, then the 15Z on Tuesday afternoon in the middle, and then the 3Z on Tuesday morning on the right. Now, the, uh, the previous one yesterday morning's forecast it had that band of rain that I mentioned towards the northwest of the UK still lingering here, but didn't really bring in that rain from the south, from the south or southwest. However, the 15Z run painted a very different story for this coming Sunday and it had that rain coming in across more parts of southwest England, across Wales, even pushing into parts of Northern Ireland, kind of similar 
to the most recent EC run. However, like I've already been through, the most recent Met Office model run all wants to keep that mostly just across parts of the southwest. We can look at that in a different way if we show our various members forecast rain for the 24 hours that is Sunday and they all, well, they're chopping and changing. They're showing different places of where we're going to see the rain, just taking a couple for example. And member two has really the rain mainly just towards the southwest. Member three has the rain mainly just towards the northwest. But then member eight has the rain across the bulk of the country. So paints quite a wet picture. So a lot to play for still about what could come this Sunday. It could be, it's likely to be pretty fine, dry and sunny for many places, but there could be some heavy rain around, particularly towards the southwest. Looking ahead to Monday and the kind of changeable story continues or the question marks as to what could happen continue. Again, Met Office model keeping some rain mainly towards the southwest, otherwise largely dry for many places. EC, however, again, painting a, a bit of a wet story for many places. The rainfall totals don't look quite as high as on Sunday, but nonetheless, there could be some heavier showery bursts around, particularly across parts of East Anglia, and then GFS is something in between. So as we go into next week, still likely to be feeling the effects of something, some sort of system around bringing the potential for some wet weather. But as we go through next week, and there's a reasonable chance that we're going to see high pressure returning. And so if we look at our most likely setups based on a number of model runs from the Met Office, and this goes with the idea for next Monday of high pressure somewhere around the UK, maybe just to the west being the most dominant story. Now, if this comes off, the weather as we go through the early to middle part of next week actually looks quite similar to this week, really. So yes, high pressure firmly in control, looking largely dry, lots of settled weather around, good deal of sunshine too. But notice that wind direction coming in from the north and so there'll be a fresh feel to things at times. We could still have some chilly nights and particularly down the eastern side, similar to this week really, a bit of a fresh feel at times during the day as well. And that's the setup that's most likely as we go through next Tuesday, next Wednesday as well. But by the end of next week, that high pressure is likely to have shifted just that little bit towards the east and that's going to do two things. Again, it's going to still bring largely dry settled weather to many places, but it's going to change where our air is coming from perhaps a bit more of an east-southeasterly developing, and so that's going to lead to a rise in our temperatures. And just showing you Friday quickly, it looks very similar to Thursday currently. But you may notice that the percentage chance for this is only around 17%. That's not especially low for this kind of lead time, looking around 10 days ahead, but it's not especially high any either. However, if we look at the three most likely setups for next Friday, and actually they're quite similar. The second most likely setup has the high pressure just that little bit further north, but still just to the northeast of the UK, still largely dry across the country and bringing in an east or southeasterly uh, or southerly flow across the country. Meanwhile, the second most likely has that high a little bit further towards the west, more near Iceland, but actually the story is relatively similar. The further the high is uh, away, the further towards the northeast, the greater chance of something trying to come in from the west. But I think on the whole, it looks like high pressure is going to be the most dominating pattern as we go through much of next week. And with that change in wind direction, similar to this week, we should see our temperatures rising as well. We can look at that in a different way. If we look at our meteograms for our capital cities from ECMWF, I've thrown, thrown leads in there as well, just to cover something a little bit more central, but they all show similar idea. If we take Cardiff, for example, and temperatures are a little bit on the low side as we go through the end of this week, Picking up as we go through this weekend, notice a relatively large spread on both Sunday and Monday for Cardiff in particular, and that's because of that uncertainty about that wet weather that's pushing in from the southwest, but generally likely to be above average and then staying above average, maybe creeping up a little bit as we go towards the end of the next week with that slight change in wind direction. So I think it's fair to say that whilst there's a, a bit of a thundery blip perhaps, particularly towards the southwest, as we go through this Sunday and perhaps into Monday, on the whole, there's a lot more dry, fine, sunny, and at times rather warm weather to come as we go through the next 10 days. Bye-bye.